it's not an understatement when I say that isekai is an overdone genre. Surprise. You could compare it to a very well done steak, and it's quickly reaching that state of being burnt. And truth be told, whether you like your steak medium, medium rare, well, well done, whatever, no one likes a burnt rubbery steak. Unless you do, in which case you're a psychopath. Just the summer season alone, there's been 11 isekai anime coming out, and having watched absolutely none of them, I can tell you that all of them are fairly generic. Well, actually I've read the manga for this medicine one, and it's very kinda decent. Read it if you're one of the two people looking for an apothecary related anime. Other than that one, everything else is pretty generic if I do say so myself. This is mainly due to the fact that isekai related things in general are shoved into our faces every single fucking season. And when you drip fed something so often, you'll eventually become bored of it. And that's how I felt about isekai. I thought that I read way too much to be surprised by any kind of development in an isekai story. But boy, was I fucking wrong. Because, well, put an isekai is a thing. <laughs> Putan Isekai, which is actually called the Ride on King, is about a certain president of a country and his journey as he's Isekai to another world. But unlike your typical MC in an other world story, the MC in Ride on King is actually likable. He doesn't care about fame, money, girls, or even defeating the Demon King or whatever. No, he just has one thing on his mind and one thing only to ride on things. Which, not, not in a sexual way. Just like how people ride horses and camel, Putin is interested in riding dragons and just all the cool mythical creatures in this new world. Because back on Earth, he rid on pretty much anything you can sit on. Tigers, cars, any other animal, a Prius. And that's pretty much the main goal of the story. It's kind of simple, I know. But of course, throughout his journey, there's side quests, characters that get in his way, and all that typical shit that you find in generic isekai stories as well. So you get the best of both worlds in a way. What I love about Ride on King is that it's so self-aware of what it is. It's not a masterpiece that'll have you crying on the floor. It's not really an intricately told story either. Nor is it trying to be. But is it funny? Yeah, I think so. Does it rip into the isekai genre with a bit of political satire as the cherry on top? Fuck yeah! An anime that's very similar to Ride on King in terms of it being so self-aware of itself is Kanasuba. Kanasuba is a brilliant anime, at least as far as isekai goes. Kazumi and gang are pretty funny and relatable when they rip into the stereotypical tropes of isekai and just have a fun time. Also, they do comedy well. Anime isn't the greatest at comedy, but Konosuba is. It's funny, the jokes actually hit instead of being the absolute dog shit that you find in other comedy anime. But is Konosuba a cinematic masterpiece? No, not, not really. Likewise, Ride on King is the same. It's a fun read that'll have you smiling at least once every single chapter. But that's about it. Don't expect it to be some world beater, you'll definitely be disappointed. Also to the people that like memes, well you're in luck because Ride on King has about a meme worthy panel or two every single chapter. So it's a gold mine if you're into Russian president related memes. Anyway, since this is quite a rare isekai video for me to do, because why the fuck would I talk about isekai, I decided why not just recommend some isekai manga that I enjoy to you guys. I was about to say love, but frankly there isn't a whole lot of isekai manga that I love per se. Alright, the first manga is Wise Man's Grandson. Does it sound familiar? It should because it got an anime adaptation that is underwhelming to say the least. The anime skips a lot of panels and plots so don't don't watch it, just read the manga like I tell you to. It's about a salary man in Japan that reincarnated into a baby. Of course after getting mauled by Truckun, even he couldn't skip that fate. The MC Shin uses his science knowledge from Earth to become overpowered and continue his life in a new world, while being the adopted grandson of the strongest mage Merlin. There's no Demon King as of now, but there is a large villain organization that of course doesn't know how to take a fucking chill pill and forces the MC to fight against them so that they don't destroy the kingdom. As you can see, I am very terrible at summarizing stories, but Wise Man's Grandson is a good manga, I promise. Alright, I'm back. The last time you heard me was actually a while ago because I actually took a break from making this video 
because talking about Isekai took a toll on me. But anyway, the last manga isn't even a manga. It's a fully colored story by an American by the name of Turtle Me. But hey, it still counts because I said so. The manga that I'm talking about is called The Beginning After The End. King Grey, which is the MC, wakes up one day as Arthur Lewin in a new fantasy world. This world has mana, mythical creatures like dragons, elves, dwarves, cannon fodder for the MC to show off his cool powers, and just everything in between. Arthur now has a second life in this new world, and we pretty much watch him grow up and become this OP MC that we all know he will become, let's be honest. The start of the story isn't exactly super original, but as the story goes on, it really becomes this intricately told story. The world building for one is so fucking good. We start off in this little house where Arthur was born, and it slowly expands into the continent and eventually the entire world. Honestly, I might make an entire video on this manga myself, but you know, for now, watch it, read it, I mean, and it's a 9 out of 10 manga, let's be honest, it, it really is, it's fucking good, just, just read it. That does it for my video on Ride on King and just recommending cool isekai stories that I really like and hopefully you will too. This video was actually meant to come out two weeks ago, but alas, I was busy and just lazy, uh, and I am sorry for that, I'll try to do better. Hopefully, probably, and uh, until next time, subscribe, like the video or not, and I'll see you next time. Bye.